We have been traveling the rich fertile lands of Kenya, far and wide, across the highlands and lowlands of this beautiful country, talking to farmers wherever we go. We want to give them the help and knowledge they need to improve their farming methods, increase their income, and turn around their farms into good business for the future. Join us and our experts on this journey and share their families' experiences as they make the changes. Karibu to Shamba Ship Up Safari. Welcome to Shamba Shepa. Now we are in Maseno, about 30 kilometers away from Kisumu. We are at the Shamba of Mary and Robert who need expert advice with their crops and animals. And by the looks of this, now we have a lot to do on Shamba Shepa. Robert and Mary have been married for many years. All their children have left home, except George. Robert. No. Are you happy to see us? Napenda zaidi tena nimefurahishwa sana. Sana. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> How long have you lived here? Nina miaka 10 hapa. 10 years. You've lived here for 10 years. Yeah. Then how big is this farm? Shamba ni kama nusu eka. A half an acre. Yeah. You've lived here for 10 years in this half acre with Mary here. Yeah. Ah, that's lovely. That's lovely. <laughs> <laughs> Mary, what about you? <laughs> Tell us about yourself. Do you, how many kids do you have? I have five kids, yes. four girls, right. one boy. So Mary, how, what are some of the problems that you have in the farm? In the farm, my, my soil is not doing well mm -hmm. with so, the vegetable. Right. Yes, mm -hmm. and then also in the farm I have the the animals. Right. The yes, cow. Yes, the cow. Yeah. They are not doing well. They have poor poor health. Uh -huh. uh, also the cow shed. Right. It collapsed down. Oh. Now they are, I have a problem there also. Right. And then uh, about my where I stay or right. where I sleep. Yes. Now it rains inside oh. and then the floor floats with the water, mm -hmm. and then the place is very cold, and then malaria sometimes yeah. you can get because yeah. of that. Now, Mary and Robert, we are here to help with a team of experts who are going to deal with your, with your crops yes. and also check on your animals. Yes. And we'll see what we can do about your cattle shed okay. and maybe your house. I'll be grateful. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What a lot to shape up. The roof of the house, the cows and the cow shed, and the vegetables as well. The first expert is Richard from Unga Farm Care. He has come to look at the cows and give Mary some advice, as she wants to sell her two cows to invest in one good dairy cow. Can you tell him what your problems are? Okay, my cows don't feed well. I can see their skin is not smooth. Uh, you can see how it is. Eh? Now, also, when it eats, I don't see as if it has appetite for feeding. I've seen your two cows. Yes. Uh, they are, these are indigenous, they are beef cattle. Yes. And uh, according to your objective that you want them uh, to fatten them, yes. then you sell and get uh, good money to uh, buy a dead cow. Uh. What I can advise is that uh, we need these cows to be in a shed. Okay. Then that shed should have wow. a trough for feed, feed okay. trough okay. and a water trough, where you will be chopping your fodder okay. so that these two cows could eat enough mm. for a day. Mm. Then I'd have clean, wa clean, clean water. water. Then uh, we have a product mm -hmm. which will be supplementing these two heifers. Mm -hmm. uh, one is afia meal, yes. unga afia meal, yes. and uh, Aviambola yes. stocklick, okay. which will give, which will make these heifers yes. attain the required weight ah. as the shortest time possible, yes. so that you can sell okay. at a good, a good price yes. and be able to buy a good dairy cow. I yeah. see. Yeah, that's good. But I have a question. Yeah. Now you said clean water. Yeah. Uh, am I supposed to treat that water or just clean water, just fetch, and then I give to them? Yeah, if it is rain water. Yes. 
or somewhere you, you fetch from a river, yes. that's, that's a clean, clean water. Okay. You don't need to incur any other cost. Okay. Mm. By feeding the cows well and giving them unga supplements, she will be able to sell them at a good price and invest in one good dairy cow. But first, we need to replace the old cow shed. Mary, yes. we have to put this one down okay. so we can put up the new cow shed. What do you think? I don't mind, please. It's a good idea if it can be put down and then you bring up a new one. Shamba Shepap handyman Karis and his team set about taking down the old cow shed. To build a basic cow shelter of 9 by 8 feet for two cows, you need 14 wood posts of 9 feet in length, 30 round poles, Maram for the flooring, nine pieces of offcuts, wood for a trough, four iron sheets for the roof, one pair of hinges, nails, and finally, wood preservative. While construction starts, I remember Mary mentioned that she has trouble growing vegetables. We can't have that. So, I take her to meet an expert. I would like to have vegetables in my plot. Yes. But when I put them up, they don't do well. Some of them, they don't do well. And uh, my needs are that when I put them on my plot, I can get the income generating activities from the vegetables in my plot. Shamba Shape Up has taken a soil sample to be tested. It's like sending your soil to the doctor. You can get results to find out why it's unhealthy. Mr. Mbakaya tells Mary that her pH balance in her soil is good, but is low in phosphorus. And that's not all. The bad news, <laughs> your nutrients, nutrients, which are required by your vegetables, okay. are very, very low. They are low. Because they are supposed to be between 20 and 100. And wow. the bad thing is just about 5. Wow! Mm -hmm. Only 5? Only yeah. 5. Mm -hmm. ah. So what we can do is to mm. help you is just to use fertilizer. Fertilizer? Which do not have lime. Okay. Because your pH is okay. It's okay. Then what we use is phosphorus. Phosphorus. Single super phosphate? Single super phosphate. Or a triple super phosphate. Now, yes. do this. Yes. Take your soils. Take my soil? This way? And mm -hmm. rub your fingers. I rub my fingers ah. this way? What do you see? What do you feel? Okay, it's slippery. It's like soap. What is uh, required? It requires organic matter. You have to add Manure yes. on your soil. She'll have to mix phosphorus, phosphorus and, and manure, manure to oh. improve the organic matter. I mm -hmm. see. And the organic matter binds the soils together. It binds the soil together. And it supplies some of these nutrients. Oh. Do you oh. have any manure? I have, please. In my compost, I have. Have you ever used manure? I have to be sincere. I've never used compost manure in this plot of mine. So, Mary needs to add TSP fertilizer when planting to add phosphorus which is missing in the soil, plus also manure to improve the organic matter in the soil. Mr. Bakaya is going to show Mary how to plant her vegetables well. Firstly, the ground has to be prepared for planting vegetables. The soil has to be broken down and leveled. Mary's son has come to lend a hand to plant kills. Mark out a row, 60 centimeters apart. And we have put this, then put at the end there. Holes are dug at a spacing of 60 centimeters along the rows. We have a hole here, another one there. Then, okay. One handful of farmyard manure is mixed with the soil. TSP fertilizer is added. Five grams, or one teaspoon per hole, 
and mixed with the soil. After that, you two took this is one. Mm. Kales or skuma wiki are planted, making sure the roots are firmly in the soil. Each plant is watered to ensure a healthy start in life. Do you think that some of this will die or they will all grow? It will depend with your management. My management. But if you manage well, yes, they will all grow. So, with good management, Mary should produce a healthy crop to sell at market and make some money. One area of Mary and George's shamba that is doing well and provides a small income is the maize crop. Years ago, they adopted the push-pull technology, which is farming without the use of pesticide control striga weed and maize stock borer that destroys maize crops. Mr. Nyagol is an expert in push-pull technology. Mr. Nyagol, this push-pull, <laughs> it's quite interesting. I cannot even get enough of it. Explain to me again. How does it work exactly? Push-pull is a, a new technology developed to assist farmers control some of the major constants to their maize production. Mm -hmm. One of those constants is the stem borer, the other is striger weed, and oh. also it helps the farmers to improve soil fertility. Uh -huh. So push-pull technology is a, a technology which helps farmers con control the problems and therefore help them to improve their maize production. Oh, it's quite interesting. How does it work exactly? Okay, uh, how push pull works is uh, we plant maize in the normal spacing we use to plant the maize, uh -huh. and in between the line, uh -huh. we plant desmodium. Uh -huh. Desmodium is a legume, and desmodium will produce a smell which the stock borers don't like, so uh -huh. they will be pushed out of the field. And when they are pushed out of the field, they are attracted to the napier grass, which is planted around the maize field. Uh -huh. And they lay the eggs there. They, when they try to feed on the napier grass, the napier oh. grass produces a watery substance that traps the insects and kills them. So oh. although they are uh, pushed out of the field and attracted to the napier grass, they don't survive. More maize is one benefit of push-pull technology. The other is the availability of the smodium and napier grass, which gives a high quality fodder for livestock. So, at least when the cows have their new troughs built, they can be fed well. So, Mama Mary, yes. how was your ma maize crop before push and pull? Ah, I really pull cried pull. because oh, I could not get anything. Uh -huh. I used to get only four kilograms from the plot. Uh -huh. It was terrible. So the harvest was poor? The harvest was poor. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of hunger mm -hmm. and I had family to feed. But there was no way. And how about now? Ah. <laughs> hey, it's wonderful. Mm. It's wonderful. It's now. wonderful. You're getting good harvest. For the first time I started mm -hmm. push pull, mm. okay, a sack came that is 80 kilograms ah. out of four. That's wow. good. Just imagine. So, Mary's proof that by using push pull technology to grow crops such as maize or sorghum, you can prevent your crops being destroyed by striga weed and maize stock borer and grow enough for your family and to sell to make a profit. So Mary, yes. I'd like to know more about you. Thank yeah. you. Now, could you tell me a little bit about your disability? Okay. Uh, anyway, I was not born the way I am. Mm -hmm. One day, when I was five years old, mm -hmm. and then the whole body of mine just got paralyzed mm -hmm. at once. It has must be been polio. Right. Uh, yeah. That is how it was. Luckily, with a loving and supportive family, Mary recovered but was left with a disability in her legs. But now I can thank God, God because yeah. now I can walk. I use a stick, but I can walk. Now, Mary is a volunteer for a group of women with disabilities. And this kind, this organization mm. you're talking about, mm. what is it about? Where you're the chair lady? Okay, uh, it is a uh, mm -hmm. disability, disability women mm -hmm. and so strategies. Right. A mama who is unable, we become to, we come together, then we give some advice that they should be free. They should feel that they are just people like other people. 
because others they hide their disabled children. Yes. They think that it is shame or maybe it's a taboo mm -hmm. to have uh, such a type of person. Yes. But now we are trying to remove stress and stigma. Right, just take my, yes. They should feel that they are just people like others mm -hmm. and they can do any job that other people can okay. do. Uh, despite of their disability, yes. they should feel proud of it. Right. Yes. But that's not all. Mary also helps at an orphanage. What about on Saturdays when you go and see the On girls, Saturdays, the kids? Uh, I go in our parish to see the orphanage uh, program. Oh. We have kid, children there. Now they come every Saturday. We make some meals for them and we make some tea. Sometimes we can make porridge for them, and then we comfort them, right. and then we get people who can teach them. Uh -huh. Yes, That's a great heart you yeah. have there. Yeah. Very, thank it's a you. voluntary work. Wow, Mary, Mary is such an inspirational lady. Yeah. It's great working on a shamba. Yes, and it's also great that her push-pull method is working for her maize and she's bound to get bumper harvest. But there's still lots to be done, right here on Shamba Shepa. Welcome back to Shamba Shepa. We're still here at Maseno. And very excited to be at Robas and Mary's Shamba. Hey, Tony and Naomi. Mary. Hey. Okay, you need this. Well, why do we need this? I want to take you to my house. Okay, let's yes. go then. Mary and Robert's home collapsed, and some local friends helped to build them a new home, but they didn't have enough money to finish the roof. Aha, Mary. Yes. Now I understand why you wanted us to use the umbrella inside. Oh, yes. I believe that's the sun. Yes, that's the sun. Wow. Right away in the sitting room. Mm -hmm. And when it rains, yes. the house is wet, and oh, it's yeah. very it's muddy. cold. Mm -hmm. It's muddy. Mm -hmm. Water floats everywhere. Mm -hmm. Walking is a problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. At night you shiver. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a restless night. Oh mm -hmm. dear. Yeah. So what happened to part of the roof? We covered it uh, halfway because mm -hmm. of money. Right. And then uh, we, we, we placed this um, polythene paper, but due to hailstones. Right. It rained and then it destroyed each and everything. Now, our handyman, Caris, would think about doing something. Surely. Yeah. I'm happy. The happiest to a woman mm -hmm. in, the world. in the world. The old polythene needs to come off and a secure iron sheet roof needs to replace it. The team gets to work. While work is still going on to build the new cow unit, I take a minute to catch up with Mary's son, George. Aha, George. Yeah. I finally caught you. Yeah. Come with me, come with me. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. How is the job? Uh, great. You happy with us being here? Very much happy. Doing all this kind of construction? Yeah. So what do you do, George? Okay, I'm a student. What class are you? I'm in Form 3 now. Form 3? Yeah. Almost going to Form 4. Oh, yeah. Going to do your exams? Mostly in, mostly in, in agriculture. In agriculture? Yeah. Is that what you're studying? Uh, of course. You love agriculture? I really like it. When you're studying your agriculture, what problems are you going through? Okay, it's hard to study since the the, the, the time that I'm studying. Yes. The, 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 this is a kerosene lamp. Oh, you're using a kerosene lamp? Yeah. <laughs> so it produces a lot of smoke uh -huh. and uh, it, it makes me not to study for long. It can be irritating. Yeah. Very irritating to the eyes. To the eyes. Uh -huh. So this one, uh, this is the difficulty that I've been facing uh -huh. for so long, yeah. Okay, George, I don't want you to blame me when you fail. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. I think I'll be able to do something for you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Wow. 
While George struggles to study at night using a kerosene lamp, Mary also struggles to see when she's making handicrafts to sell, such as beads and cards. Because of the small kerosene lamp, mm -hmm. it spoils the eyes. It has got a lot of smoke. Um, do make beads at night yes. for small income cash. Uh -huh. Now I burn my fingers using that. Trying to see. Then uh, my eyes, I stress my eyes mm -hmm. to put the needle through. You can't see at all. I can't see at all. Mary, what if I say I have a solution for you? I'll be happy. Very happy? Very happy. Okay, Mary, here we go. This is called the D-Light and it uses solar power. It uses solar power. No more tears in your eyes? Surely. Right? No more paraffin? This. It looks beautiful. This is a lamp. I like it. Yeah? Hey, Tony. You like it already? I like it. Good. Yes. Let me show you how it works. Show me, please. A simple solar panel is plugged into the D-Light with one cable. It is then left in the sun to charge. The D-Light has four settings. The lowest light lasts for up to 100 hours and the brightest light lasts for four hours after a day's charging in the sun. That's not all. Oh. Do you have a phone? Oh yes, I have one. Where do you charge it? I go to the shopping centre down there. Is it far from here? It is far from here. Uh -huh. It's not near. So it takes me time walking, walking up to that place if I don't have money to take a bike or a... A uh, picky picky. Mm -hmm. And do you have problem charging it? Yes, very much. Even in the last one, they broke it, my phone. They broke your phone? Yes, at the charging center. Now, do you know you can charge your phone using this lamp? You mean it? Let me show you. How? All right. See this? I see. You attach this to the lamp. Like that. That way? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And then... Yes. You attach this to, to your the phone. phone. This way. Is it charging? Okay, it is really, I can see. It's charging. It's charging. Good. Yeah. Once you have a D-Light solar lamp, it is easily charged in the sun. It is up to five times brighter than a kerosene lantern. It is also safe, meaning Mary's eyes and fingers won't get burnt anymore. And there's no risk of fires. Plus, Mary can now charge her phone without spending extra money to go to the charging center. With all this work going on, it must soon be time for some food. But I find Mary has to cook in her bedroom. As the building is going on, Mary, I brought you something, but um, I'd like to ask you a question first. Yes. So how is it cooking in your bedroom? Cooking in the bedroom? A lot of smoke. Right, lots of smoke. When I'm cooking, mm -hmm. you can't breathe properly. It that fires my clothes. Just to look at my net. It can't even finish a week mm -hmm. before it gets dirty. So I'm tired of it. Mm -hmm. The smoke, right. breathless, mm -hmm. tears, yeah, right. even the mucus. Yes. Yeah, no. Don't worry. We'll mm. fix this, and that's how we fix it. Now we have a new Jiko. Okay. Right? Now this Jiko is a wonderful Jiko. Why? It's a wonderful Jiko. Because it uses very little wood. Okay. Right? Okay. Then mm -hmm. it cooks very fast. It cooks very fast. Yeah, so you can be able to do your other work. Yes. And then thirdly, almost smokeless. Surely. Right? So that would really solve a lot of your problems. Oh, yeah. Oh, what do you think? Ah, now I'm very happy about it. And now it has lessened the expenses of firewood to me. Ah, good news! This is a Jiko from Easy Life. You can move it around, it uses less firewood, saving money and time, and gives less smoke. Easy Life currently offers three modern firewood Jiko products. The Jikos have a unique fire chamber made of special ceramic or high quality metal. The team has completed the new cow unit. Robert and George chopped nepi and desmodium from the push pool to make good fodder for the cows. This is added to the new troughs along with fresh water. Lastly, George adds the Unga farm care supplements which will help fatten up the cows ready for sale.
Remember, always read the instructions on the packaging to give your livestock the correct amount. It has a maram floor, which is more hygienic for the cows, and a roof to protect them from the rain. The team has been working very hard, and not only is a new roof on the house, we have also added new guttering and a tank to harvest rainwater. Robert, no. looking behind you, do you see any difference from before? Nimeona tofauti kubwa. Nimejifunza mambo makubwa hapa. Tena nimeona si ya hasara hapa. Asante sana. It's good to see you happy. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Thank you so much. Now, how about you, Mary? Now, what have you learned? I've learned a lot. And then I've got a house. Shamba shaped up my house. And even he shaped my life. It's good to see Mary and Robert very happy. And as Mary said, Shamba Shepap is not only shaping your Shamba, but also shaping lives. Right here on Shamba Shepap. Shepa.